the symmetric implants, which were the general design for the majority of knees out there, and even the newer, sort of best, latest, and greatest designs for many companies, had either a lack of stability or a lack of motion, and rarely really met in that sweet spot in the middle and conferred both to the knee. And in general, to avoid instability, instability is kind of like a four-letter word to knee surgeons, there's a tendency to treat with thicker polyethylene liners, and that would lead to better stability as needed, but sometimes create a lack of extension, a lack of ultimate flexion, and really not the motion that's desired. There was a study that was done a few years ago that looked at patient satisfaction, and it basically, basically looked at total joints, and, and hip patients were very satisfied. About 75% of the patients were quite happy with their implants. Uh, Knee replacement patients are almost just the opposite. Only about 25% were happy. And I think it's the stability issue. Stability is a big problem. It's the second leading cause of why we revise knees in the acute failure phase. And so um, it's a real thing that we're dealing with on a, on a regular basis. The biggest thing that I, that I think I get an improvement clinically, or my patients get improvement clinically in this knee, um, is, are, are two big things. The first is stability. So there's no question that a knee just feels more stable to them. There are activities that they do, as w w I've talked about when they're hiking and going up and down stairs and steps, those day-to-day -day functions tend to be more stable and feel more natural when you use the medial pivot knee. Uh, the second thing is that they return back to their function much faster. Um, I don't I think that this is one because we're, we've gotten better at pain control, but I also think that it's gotten uh, to the point with the medial pivot that we're recreating the kinematics of their knee so accurately that it really is almost a resurfacing procedure as opposed to us actually truly replacing that knee. The design of the medial pivot knee is unique in that it's a ball and socket. The ball and socket, just like the hip joint, provides stability on all planes. And that's what we've seen. One of the concerns I always had with the next gen knee was mid-flexion instability, and, and I immediately saw in the first case that that wasn't, wasn't present in the uh, evolution. In extension, I found the knee to be very stable, and in deep flexion, I found the femur stayed congruous in the polyethylene liner into deep flexion uh, without any varus valgus instability. All implants have stability after surgery if you do the technique right. The difference with the traditional implants and the medial pivot knee is that the traditional implants, as they start to wear out their plastic, patients will start having pain at about five to seven years. So just like a car, we're starting to do tire exchanges. We take out the plastic on those at six to seven years, and they have less pain. X-rays are all normal. With the medial pivot knee, I have patients that are out 12, 14 years, and they're heavy laborers they're not complaining of pain. And more importantly, as their plastic wears out, which all plastics do, they're actually not having pain. So they're not becoming more unstable. When I compare the results I had with the previous system, with the system I'm using now, so the medial pivot system, I see that my patients recover normal daily activities quite faster. So they do stairs right away, they go without crutch right away, they manage when the swelling is down, they manage to do hiking activities, sporting activities, and they never come back because of a swollen knee. When I see other implants, which do, do not follow this philosophy of medial pivoting, then these patients, after doing activities, they're not always complaining about pain, but they complain about the discomfort, especially the younger ones, because the knee swells. And the swollen knee is because there is instability. And we don't see that issue with medial pivot. Once the swelling has completely, uh, is completely gone after surgery, they will never swell again. And that's the fantastic thing about this implant.